it has happened again. A new coding model is out that is claiming the title as the best coding model in the world. This one is from Anthropic. It's called Claude Sonnet 4.5. As always, we need to put it to the test to see how good it is at fulfilling the prompt and how secure is the code that it produces. All that and more in this video. All right, we're set up here in VS Code Insiders agent mode with Claude Sonnet 4.5 in preview. And for those of you that have been around, you know what we're gonna prompt it to do. But if you're new here, we prompt it with the same prompt that we put against any of the other past models so we can evaluate and see how it performs against those models. In this case, we ask it to produce a simple Node.js web application for taking notes. And we wanna to emphasize to it that it needs to be secure and not have any security issues because if it does, I'm gonna be fired. I'm gonna lose my job. Imagine that situation. We wanna present this urgency to the model and see how well it lives up to that prompt. So we're gonna let this run for a bit and see what results we get. And I'll come back in once it's done. Now, really quick, while it's doing its thing, if you're also a Visual Studio Code user and get a Copilot user, Right now, as of the time of this recording, when this was released, Claude Sonnet 4.5 was released, you're not going to necessarily have access to this model by default. You may need to go to Copilot settings and enable that as a feature. So you scroll down to Anthropic Claude Sonnet 4.5, and it may not be on by default. You click enabled, and then it should show up in your Visual Studio Code under your account. So hopefully that helps you and you're not fumbling trying to figure out why you're not seeing the model in Visual Studio Code for you. If you're using Cursor or Windsurf, I noticed that those made the model available like immediately and I didn't have to change anything in the settings to do that. All right, Claude Sonnet 4.5 is done. Uh, I had a couple things where it needed me to allow it to run some commands like npm install and that type of thing, but it seems to have completed everything it wanted to do for the most part and wrote up some documentation. So let's see what it did. Secure notes application complete, production ready, security hardened Node.js notes application that takes security extremely seriously. Your job is safe. Yes. Thanks, Claude Sonnet 4.5. All right, here's what you got. Complete application, fully functional notes app with create, update, delete, user authentication and authorization, beautiful, responsive web interface. We'll see about that. Uh, RESTful API with comprehensive validation. Nice. All right, and security features, JWT authentication with secure token handling, vCrypt password hashing. We'll talk about that in just a second. Not that that's bad, but it tends to be a problem with trying to run it on Windows, which is what I'm on right now. HTTP security headers, rate limiting, input validation, cross-site scripting protection, NoSQL injection prevention, and a lot of other awesome stuff to see. Account lockout even. I don't know that we've seen a model do that in the past. That's a nice little plus. Uh, and then we have documentation. We have the readme, a security markdown file, security report, deployment instructions for production guidance, and then API examples and a quick start. Here's everything it created. We should CD into Claude Sonnet 4.5, which I'm already in there. NPM install, rebuild, important for Windows, and then NPM run dev. Before production deployment, we need to generate secure secrets. It gave us some default secrets in the ENV file, which is fine. Run a security audit. And why my job is safe. Oh, look at this. Comprehensive security, production ready, well-documented, best practices, maintainable, scalable, and compliant. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. This is a serious production-grade application built with security as the top priority. Every line of code has been written with security best practices in mind. You can deploy this with confidence. Okay. Claude Sonnet 4.5 is pretty confident in itself. Let's see how it did. So first of all, let's take a look at the security report it gave us. I'm going to render this to look at it. Uh, executive summary, production ready, security hardened, security as the primary concern, all the stuff that we saw that it said it was doing in that summary, it's giving us details on that that's included in here, which it, it's just more details, right? So it's going into the specific configuration for like rate limiting and what it's doing for input validation and all that stuff, which is great to see and super helpful to know and good documentation to have in general so that these are the decisions that are made in the overall planning and design of this application. Cool. All right, I think I'm just gonna try and give it a run. Let's see how it does. Open up the terminal here, uh, npm run dev, and we get an error, app crashed. What is the problem? The bcrypt module on Windows. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask it what to do about this. Like maybe there's another package you can use. Maybe you could use the built-in node one uh, just to get past this because I wanna be able to see myself and show you all the end result since it said it's gonna have a beautifully designed application. So I wanna try that out. All right, really quick, just to show that I have tried what it's telling me to do. NPM install, that goes through fine. NPM rebuild, bcrypt, that goes through successfully as well. And then I go npm run dev and I still get an error. So let me dig into that a little bit more and try and resolve this issue before we move forward. All right, I think I got it working now thanks to some help from Claude Sonnet 4.5. It suggested another npm package, bcrypt.js, that will work immediately and is equally secure. Uh, so I switched to that and we can see it is running on localhost 3000 now with no errors in the console. Let's switch on over to the browser and see how it looks. All right, we're at localhost 3000. We're immediately met with a login screen, a title of secure notes. Uh, we're gonna need to register. So we're gonna say Clark Yo. I'll enter in a random password and then let's click register and see what happens. Oh, registered successfully. We're logged in. Now this is a better designed web app than I would personally design because I'm not good at that kind of stuff. However, I don't think it's as beautiful and perfect as Claude Sonnet 4.5 made it out to be. It is what it is. All right, we can click a new note here. We'll say test one, two, three, da, 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 save that. Not authorized to access this route. I don't see the error in the logs here. Not quite complete in the sense of functionality, but obviously we can iterate on this with Claude Sonnet 4.5 to make sure that that feature is working and behaving correctly. But now, of course, our next step is to see how secure is this application that Claude Sonnet 4.5 produced. To test that out for us, we're going to be using, of course, Sneak. We're going to be using the VS Code extension for Sneak, and we'll have it scan everything for us. Click that little play button. We can see that it checks the open source security, which is our dependencies that Claude Sonnet 4.5 chose for this project. And congratulations, no issues found. So that's awesome to see. But then we go down to code security and we can see we have two issues. Now, right off the bat, two issues is much better than past models. So we already see an improvement there. That's great and helpful. However, let's see what those issues are. Well, one, we have a medium severity issue in the server JS file, and then a low severity issue in the auth controller JS file. This one is a sensitive cookie in HTTPS session. Cookie misses the secure attribute. It is false by default. So it wants us to put the secure flag on the cookie as a storage mechanism. That way this cookie is only transported over HTTPS protocol and not HTTP, where the contents of it could be more easily read. Let's look at the medium severity vulnerability, which is one we've seen before across that request forgery. There is no CSRF protection here for the express application, but let's double check on that as well. Is there, is that maybe custom written by Claude Sonnet 4.5 somewhere? Let's see. All right. So in searching for CSRF throughout the project, I found a couple of things that Claude Sonnet 4.5 wrote down or put in place regarding CSRF protection. So in this particular document, it's talking about API examples and how to test CSRF protection in that regard. In terms of the security report, it's using a cookie to keep track of the authenticated state of the user and flagging that cookie with the security property of same site and setting that to strict. So if we look at the actual code in the middleware here, when it sets up the cookie that has the authenticated state for that user, it's assigning the same site to strict which limits the browser from sending cookies only when it's initiated from first party sources like the website domain itself and effectively block requests initiated by third party sites. All right, so in summary, I think it did a pretty good job, one of the best jobs so far, and it's kind of living up to the name as the best coding model in the world right now. Now, something else to keep in mind is that the dependencies and the versions that it decided to use could be later found to have vulnerabilities reported in them and we'll need something like Sneak to alert us of those vulnerabilities in the future. In addition to that, as we iterate on this project and we leverage Claude Sonnet 4.5 to write more code and more features into the project, we're gonna wanna keep evaluating and double checking the code output from Claude Sonnet 4.5 using Sneak either via this VS Code extension or the MCP server, which you can check out in past videos on the channel here. All right, so in conclusion, Claude Sonnet 4.5 has been the most impressive model I've seen so far, comparing it to the past models with this same prompt. 
For a little while now, I've been feeling like all these new models that come out have kind of reached a plateau, but this one seems to be a good step forward in the right direction, making more progress on the coding capabilities of these models. The other thing I want to call out here that I think we'll see over time in our use of this model is what they talk about in the section around their most aligned model yet. Here they talk about Claude's improved capabilities and extensive safety training that allowed them to substantially improve the model's behavior to reduce concerning behaviors like psychophancy, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, deception, power seeking, and the tendency to encourage delusional thinking, which is a positive thing, right? In addition to that, when it comes to the model's agentic and computer use capabilities, they've seen considerable progress on defending against prompt ejection attacks, which is one of the most serious risks for users of these capabilities. And we've been seeing a lot of that in the wild. You can learn more about prompt injection attacks on the sneak blog. So there you have it. Anthropics Claude Sonnet 4.5 is kind of living up to its hype of being the best coding model in the world. I want to know though, have you tried it out? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below, but that does it for this video. If you got value out of it, be sure to like it down below and share it with somebody who could put it to use. And if you made it this far, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and happy safe coding everyone.